Nano Banana Pro just dropped and you can use it in Kittle. And these generations are absolutely insane. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can access it. And then I'm gonna show you a little hack how using Kittle with Nano Banana Pro makes it even better and you can create more unique looking designs. Okay, so I wanna walk you through a couple of my favorite generations so far with Nano Banana Pro, but let me show you exactly how to access it. You might have noticed that down here in the bottom, this is where your prompt box is going to be now. So you can see right here, there's a prompt box that's just above the little Kittle AI icon, where if I click into it, that's where you're going to start putting all of your different generations. And you can see here, I already have Nana Banana Pro selected. I can go here, change my aspect ratio. I can even generate multiple images at the same time, depending on your plan. And then of course, I can toggle back and forth between public and private. But after after I have this selected, you can see here Nana Banana Pro, and then we also have Nana Banana Pro 4K, which is also incredible, uh, or go back to the normal one. After you have everything selected the way you need it, all you have to do is just click generate, and then we're just gonna leave that off to the side while I show you a couple amazing generations. As you can see right here, here's normal Nana Banana, which I think did a pretty good job. Uh, you can see over here on the right, there is a vintage style lettering graphic. I wanted to see if it could pick up our founder's style, Tobias Saul. He is a master calligrapher, letterer, vintage designer, and it's not bad, honestly. It's, it's not a terrible looking graphic now let's move over to nana banana pro here in this image and wow what a difference this makes so much better so much nicer than this one over here it really looks like it would have been done or drawn on the paper if you look right here you can see that how the stem crosses over and it creates a darker little like ink bleed, which it would be more accurate, which I think is just an incredible little detail. As I mentioned, we have Nano Banana Pro in 4K and it did change the lettering style. It's the same prompt I just selected from down here. I, I, I just selected um, the Pro 4K version and it did change the lettering a little bit, but wow, look at how amazing these letter forms are. And then as we can see over here to the right, our generation uh, of our uh, black and white engravings finished using Nana Banana Pro. Another thing that's amazing about Nana Banana Pro is creating scenes. Now, if you look right here, these were all created with Nana Banana Pro, and all I did was just give it a little bit more direction to create a storyboard, to create what might be like a little cinematic movie or something. So this one is pretty easy, create an uh, image uh, of a butterfly that's just about to land on a leaf maybe about four or five inches away so you can see it did a really really great job here this one then is just keep all of the focal points the same but now have the butterfly landed on the top leaf zoom in and make the shot closer this is the little secret hack that'll help you create image consistency what i did if i just get rid of this is I selected this image and I clicked this little remix image button. And then here is where I put in zoom in on the butterfly. And because I'm using Nano Banana Pro and because it knows the original image to use, anything I say in this remix prompt will then spit out another composition that is exactly the lighting, color, object, everything that I need inside this one image by using Nana Banana Pro and Remix, which is here inside Kittle AI. And then you can see here, I said, show a top-down shot from above with the same butterfly. Again, I used that Remix feature. And then here, show a super close-up shot in front of the butterfly with its wings fully positioned like it's about to fly again. And you can really make cool cinematic scenes with this if you wanted to. You could change this to like a, like a storybook. I mean, imagine the different things that you could do. Now, another thing that it does really well is prompt adherence. So I created four different generations of this like pseudo cyborg having coffee in, you know, like a old but modern kind of city. So you can see right here, cyborg sitting in a cafe holding a cup of coffee futuristic setting and this is what I think is incredible normal buildings mixed in with tech looking buildings torn uh, tank top with baggy cargo pants blonde hair torso is human both arms are robotic one more so than the other I think this one out of the four generations this is pretty neat too but I mean think about how cool video game concepting might be or maybe you're making a cyberpunk design poster or graphic or you're you know making conference graphics for a 
tech convention and it's in this style. I don't know, something. I just really like how it integrated the modern old buildings mixed with techy futuristic ones. And then I just threw the same prompt in the Nano Banana 4K, Nano Banana Pro 4K. And this is what it gave me, which I think it, it actually looks even better. It looks more realistic. I mean, the typography, the old buildings mixed with the futuristic. Sometimes you just never know what you're going to get, but this is really, really nice, consistent looking stuff. You can also use Nana Banana Pro to create some really interesting textures. I wanted to see if it could create like an abstract texture of 90s scanner, like a VHS type thing. I generated a couple of those. And I mean, just imagine how cool these would look like if I mixed this with this uh, cyborg image over here, because that's the kind of mood I was in. If I go here to like screen, I mean, that looks pretty cool. Maybe if I go to like multiply and then like turn the opacity down. I mean, there's so many different things that you could do that I think would look really, really cool. And you can create a bunch of different textures with Nana Banana Pro that are gonna be extremely high resolution. Now you can also create assets and elements. Here's another one, create a pack of abstract blobs, shapes, soft rounded edges, things like that. I can remove the background from this really, really easily. And I'm gonna have all of my little pieces I could use. I could vectorize these. Again, I can start cropping them to use them one at a time if I want to and make full sets. It also can create better looking graphics. So here it was a vintage inspired western scene that I wanted to create. You can see here textured sun rays, burnt orange sand, circular composition. I said no text. And I mean, look how cool that is. It even has little half tones here so that if I remove the background from this, it should give me a really, really cool looking graphic to use. Yeah, in my, uh, you know, on whatever color background I would want to. Now, I also said make a faux magazine cover inspired by high fashion with an illustration of a confident character in it and show me places for like headlines with filler text in it. Then I also said, let's make a realistic mock-up of a t-shirt on a wooden hanger. I think you did an incredible job. Stay with me because I'm gonna show you a really, really, really cool secret in Kittle to connect your designs with these mock-ups, so stay tuned. And then I was like, can it create like full concept mood boards, which has generally been a struggle for a lot of the AI models, but look at this. 35 millimeter film photography, grainy photos, city streets, golden hour, handwritten notes, arranged. I mean, look how cool this is just for like reference points or style scapes or like the mood or the style, the motion, the blur that you're going for. I mean, this is such a cool way to get inspiration. Then I wanted to really put it to the test and give it a very difficult artistic style and look how incredible this Art Nouveau design is. Now, I did not create this uh, prompt. I took it from someone who was testing this on our team. But look at the attention to detail how Nana Banana Pro was able to distill this information into an incredible looking image that would otherwise take you quite a long time to do. Now, I promised you a little secret, and it is that remix secret, but connecting images together. So if you didn't know, you can actually select multiple images and then if I go down here to remix, I can say, place the design on the white t-shirt. And I've already generated it, which is over here. Look at how incredible this looks. Place the sunset graphic in the center of the t-shirt mockup, which is exactly what I said to do. And then same thing here. I said, place the fashion poster design on the poster mock-up in the studio on the wall. And look, it kept everything consistent. Everything in the room is consistent, except now this poster has been transferred to this mock-up. And I mean, how incredible is that to be able to just select these two things, place the design on the poster on the wall, hit generate, and then boom, there it is. The options were already pretty endless, but now they can just get even cooler and even better. So if you haven't tried Nana Banana Pro and Nana Banana Pro 4K, they are now available in Kittle for you to go in, mess with, create some incredible looking designs, icons, assets, anything you want. Nana Banana Pro is incredible. So let us know what you think in the comments after you've had some fun with it, and we will see you in the next video.